Hi everyone, Dale Ann here. In this exclusive video that only you or the Positively Creative Community members will see because of the link, I will show you how to take a simple white eraser that you can get three for a dollar at the dollar store. This one was slightly used already, but it doesn't matter. And carve it into a holly leaf stamp that you can use to make cards, tags, or even wrapping paper. Once you get used to carving, there will be no end. <laughs> You'll be thinking of all kinds of ideas. So let's get started. You can use a line drawing that you can find free online or draw your, it yourself and how big you want it. You begin by drawing the first part of the leaf. I would go all the way out. Then, not quite. And the, the drawing doesn't have to be perfect. That's all part of making your own stamp. This is like an X-Acto knife. And you can use that. Or you can buy very cheaply. This is a speedball set, but I think it was like five bucks or something. And it comes with all these sizes of nibs that you can take off and it's as simple as as that when you're carving you always want to go away from you these are sharp and I could change to a bigger one but I'm not going to and you just keep carving away the pieces that you don't want to show on the stamp. I always like to draw, to carve close to the the line that I have drawn first and then take off the pieces. Just nice and slow. Okay, and the other side I'll show you how to use the X-Acto knife or the that uh, Fiskars just in case you can't get one of these carving Because I didn't start with these carving, this speedball carving tool. I started with a exacto knife. Just keep carving away at what you don't want to show. Now we'll go on to this side. And you just go slow and you want to go on this side. I went in about um, an eighth of an inch and that's about what you want to go there. And then once you have gone towards or close to the line, then you can go and cut so that you can pull that out. 
And with an X-Acto knife, it is neater. You don't have all this lines, but that's not going to show because of where you have cut the stamp. And you can go like this, nice and slow. And the last one. Okay. Now you want to know if it has turned out or not. <laughs> and I'll get a piece of paper. Get yourself an ink pad. Press it in, make sure it's covered totally, and then okay, so this edge right here, there's an edge right there that's and right here is showing up. So then see all these pieces here that are green? you want to cut those. So I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and you're going to get a little dirty because of where the ink is. And you just be very careful cutting away. It's better to take small little pieces than big pieces. And if you do make a mistake, it's just an eraser. You can turn it over and start again or toss it and start again. Let's try this again and we want kind of we want crisp edges. Okay good. Now you know how on a holly there's like a line up the middle, right? So just very lightly, very lightly. And then you can Just continue that line. Okay. Your stamps are going to get stained because of the type of rubber that it is or uh, plastic or whatever you want to call it. So I just use a baby wipe to clean it. Okay, now I'm going to... I could probably do a couple more <laughs> and go off. Okay. Don't mind. I boo booed there. So, this is a real red ink pad, and I'm just using the eraser on a pencil make the berries. That one 
didn't see, depending on the rubber on the, this one's got kind of a dent in it, I guess. Okay. If you have a, a to and a from stamp, you can use that on there. I'm, I'll trim, I'll end up trimming this so that that doesn't show. This isn't right kind of paper, but it's it will do. If you want to make a card with a wreath of holly, just lightly make pencil lines and this this holly leaf is fairly big for this so I'm just going to do the top end of it and this is not going to be perfect either <laughs> But I want to give you an idea and you can practice. You can make two different sizes of holly leaves. A small one for a card and the bigger one for tags. And this one is also good for making your own wrapping paper. Whether it's brown craft paper or the white rolls that you can buy get your kids involved. One of them could be stamping all the green leaves around and then another one can go around with the pencil. See the rubber on this must be very old because it's not absorbing And this is the front of a card, like that. And then you could put your sentiment right there. I have made other stamps, some of them out of pink rubber. I want to show you my very first stamp, if it's in here. Yep, this fish. 11 years old, been put into paint and all kinds of ink. They hold up very well. Make all kinds of designs, flowers. You can even spell out words. Make sure that they're backwards when you're thing so that when you stamp them, <laughs> hopefully it sparks all kinds of other ideas for you to start carving. That's it for now. Bye.